What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Peeps. Back with another banger video, man. And today, man, I want to go ahead and give y'all some updated news on that boy, Omni-Man. So look, y'all. PlayStation, Xbox, I think they might have messed up, y'all. Because they messed around and they leaked the release date for Omni-Man for MK1, you guys. All right? So... The release date is actually going to be the 6th of November, according to PlayStation and Xbox, man. This is very exciting news, you guys, because we got two weeks and we're getting Omni-Man, y'all. That's all. In two weeks, we're getting that boy Omni-Man. He's going to be playable in the PlayStation Store and the Xbox. Now, mind you, it hasn't been 100% confirmed, you guys, but... Two of the two different console companies putting in the same exact date kind of points to Omni Man being released on that day. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we're getting Omni Man on the 6th of November, y'all. This is very exciting news, y'all. Crazy how everything worked out the way it did, man. You guys will be getting Omni Man gameplay when he drops. From your boy, Peeps. Y'all already know I got y'all with the latest and the greatest. So look, y'all. Also, the Halloween update is actually uh, on PlayStation right now. So if you haven't updated your MK, please go update your MK right now, dude. Uh, and they actually put in the Johnny Cage map uh, for the Cage's Mansion. He now has a Halloween update where they have a bunch of like Halloween decorations and stuff like that. And it, it, it's kind of like an Easter egg kind of stage. I don't know how long it's going to be up, but I do know that they have the stage up for as of right now. Uh, and it looks pretty cool, y'all. So if y'all haven't played on that stage, please go touch that stage, man. It's actually pretty, it's, it's pretty clean, you guys. You know, it's fresh. And, you know, I feel like Netherrealm did a great job with the stage in general, you guys. Also, I wanted to talk about this, you guys. And here we go. I know majority of you guys were already seeing this coming. But you know what? Hey, here it goes. Do not pay for the stage fatality for the Halloween pack. I repeat, do not pay for that stuff, man. Netherrealm is trying to charge people $10 plus to get a stage fatality for the Halloween pack. And the more people don't buy it, the more the prices are going to drop. And hey, it might eventually end up being free if enough people do not buy it. I cannot vouch for this enough, you guys. Please do not buy this. I'm speaking from a gamer's perspective, you guys. I'm not even speaking from a business perspective right now. Y'all know that I'm gonna give y'all the latest and the greatest, and I am not a yes round, yes man to Nether Realm Studios. But when they do something good, I will point out the good. When they do something bad, I will point out the bad, man. You know I have to do this because I love y'all as a community, man. So please do not buy the Halloween stage fatality. This is my one and final warning. I talked about it in the last and previous video, man, but I gotta talk about it on this one too, man. Hopefully it gets through to a lot of y'all, man, and I hope a lot of people do not buy this, dude. Cause this, these prices, man, they're starting to get ridiculous. Netherrealm is not a free game. Uh, Netherrealm uh, MK1 is not a free game at all. We shouldn't be paying $10 for skins and we shouldn't be paying $10 for stage fatalities, all right? Now, uh, Netherrealm also dropped this Johnny Cage skin, and this actually looks pretty cool, man. It's like a Frankenstein skin, he's got a vampire skin, and then he's got a mummy skin. Pretty cool for the, um, it, it, I feel like it's pretty cool for the whole Halloween theme, you guys. Hopefully these skins are, you know, running for about like $5.99. I feel like $5.99 for one of these little skins is pretty reasonable. If they're $10 a piece, man, $10 a pop, Netherrealm, what are you doing, y'all? You know what I mean? 
So hopefully these skins aren't going to be too crazy. I hope to get more skins for other characters too, man. I want to see Tanya have a little skin, you know. They did drop a skin for Melina. I did see that. And they did drop a skin for Scorpion. If you guys haven't seen that in the shop, go ahead and check that out, man. But as of right now, this video was real short, y'all. I tried to keep it as short as possible by giving y'all as much information for this week as possible, y'all. But if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Comment down below what you think about these skins, man. And comment down below what y'all think about paying for stage fatalities. I think it's ridiculous, but maybe somebody else might think differently. I don't know, man. But this is Peeps. I love y'all, man. And I'm out. Peace.